Hey Robert, it's Chris Doyle at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. I want to thank you for your request for information on this 2022 GMC Sierra. This is the crew cab with the short box. This is the SLT, nicely equipped version of the truck with the 5.3 liter V8. I want to give you a little bit of a tour all the way around on it. Just a nice truck and I'm going to show you some things on the inside. This is the redesign of the Sierra inside and out that happened halfway through the 22 model year. This is a new truck, uh, again, new, a little different on the front, different grill, just nice looking, those nice C-shaped LED, uh, <laughs> you can see the daytime running lamps, it's daytime right now, it's not very bright, uh, but you've got your LEDs down at the bottom. In terms of your fog lights, you're gonna have LEDs all the way around, just better visibility without blinding everybody else on the road, which is usually an awfully nice thing. Um, love these tires, love these Goodyear Wrangler. They're the territory, all terrains. Very nice ride, um, good grip year round, but it's not gonna, not gonna compromise in terms of quietness and in terms of ride quality. Um, this is, as I said, this is the crew cab. This is the crew cab with the short box. This is what most of the trucks are these days, most of the crew cabs. The short box itself is bigger than it used to be, but you know what, we'll get to that in just a minute. I wanna show you some space here in the back. This is, as I mentioned, there's an awful lot of room. Uh, this is new, obviously, so we haven't finished setting it up yet, but I wanted to give you a chance to actually see the inside of it. SLT means leather. So we've got the leather inside, that 60-40 split with uh, storage underneath so things don't roll around. That's kind of a nice little feature to have here too. Uh, you've got your nice heated seats in the back. I'm gonna have that up front. Uh, and your air conditioning vents as well. Obviously a ton of room, lots of leg space, lots of head space, very, very easy to get into and out of the truck. We've even got the power sliding rear window, which is not in most trucks. Most trucks don't have it. So that's an awfully nice feature to have here. Let's take a look at the front. Open that up there. So again, SLT, so it's gonna be nicely equipped. We've got the Bose sound system. We've got the uh, two position memory seating. Uh, we've even got our nice retractable um, mirrors on the sides here too. Let me hop inside just so I can show you, give me a better look all the way around at the new design. So this is the new dashboard inside. This does have the center console with a new shifter too. So when you're shifting, kind of like a car now, very easy. Press it in, drive low. If you're in low, you can now choose how many of the gears you want left and right by using the paddle shifters taken right from the Corvette and the Camaro. Oh, it's cold outside and it's nice to have the nice heated steering wheel. I'm just gonna leave my hand on here for a while. Uh, put it back in park here. Very, very simple to use. There's our fancy schmancy looking new key fob as well. There is a key hidden in there too. We've got, uh, you know, this is going to be a 19 minute long video because there's a lot of things to talk about, but we've even got our wireless charger in here. Uh, you do have, as I mentioned, automatic heated seats and the automatic steering wheel, which I'm going to play with again in a second. You've got cooled seats as well. Those will be automatic as well. And the dual zone automatic climate control uh, right up front. There's our heated steering wheel, uh, automatic emergency braking, which you can adjust here how sensitive it is to the vehicles in front of you. Uh, boy, what doesn't it have? Automatic high beams and low beams in addition to the regular auto lights on here, of course. And it is the four wheel drive. So two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and an auto feature, which I think you're gonna find is gonna be great for most of the winter. Uh, four wheel drive, the full time four wheel drive then tends to be reserved for kind of the worst conditions. Auto is something that's gonna be great for most of the driving that you have to do during the winter. So as I mentioned, this is the new design. Giant touch screens, very, very easy to use. I won't spend a whole lot of time on it, but this driver information center is configurable. You can choose what you're looking at on the left, on the right, the center, uh, you know, you can really tailor this for your usage rather than just some coming, something coming from the factory or just leave it from the factory if you like. Uh, here, again, lots of safety features here too. Uh, you've got your lane keep assist as well. And this big giant screen, again, configurable, not wildly different in terms of how it, how it, it 
what it brings up and how it can be used. But you've got your your audio there. Of course, I go to my little home page. You're going to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is wireless. Um, and pairing up your phone, very easy, also means it's going to pair that wirelessly too. And because you've got that wireless charger down there, you're, you know, <laughs> you really don't need a cord for much of anything anymore in here. And you've got Google Assistant, Google Play, the Play Store, a lot of Google controlled things, which are there as an option for you. So you can use those without even having to have a phone inside the car. Your choice, either way. Um, and if I put this in reverse, of course, I'm going to have a really big, high definition, very, very clear backup screen. Just makes driving a whole heck of a lot easier. Uh, so speaking of uh, back, let's take a look at the rear end of the truck. So, couple of things here. Uh, as they've had for the past couple of years, those corner step bumpers redesigned, so they're much easier to use. Uh, we do have our heavy duty trailering package here, and we do have the multi-pro tailgate on the back so it's not a gimmick there's really a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this so obviously you can just open and close the whole thing <laughs> there you go just like any other truck you've ever had or i press the top button i bring this down i have a work surface or i can open this up here and now eh, let me point this out if you have something long you need to put back in here You've just bought yourself another foot. You've essentially turned this into the length of the standard box rather than the short box without having to drive a truck with a standard box all the time. Just a nice feature to have here inside. Um, and of course, one of my favorite things, I press both of these, I bring this down, it opens up here. There's one in other positions. Why does it do that? In case I need to get real close, to be able to reach in and get something inside of the car. Or my favorite, bring that down. Now I have a staircase to walk right up inside my snow-filled bed inside the back of it. Now I wanna point something else out about what I'm doing here is notice as I do all of this, that I'm doing this one-handed. The other hand is holding the phone. So not that complicated, not that difficult to use. Uh, just a really neat feature. Sounds like something on paper that could be gimmicky, but it's very, very useful inside these trucks. So again, just kind of taking a look on the back end of this too. Just really nice to have that Onyx Black set off with just a little bit of chrome. Um, just enough to really make it pop. And of course that is the 5.3 liter V8 engine inside this truck. Just a great looking truck, really nicely equipped. So if you would like to learn more about this 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 SLT crew cab short box, there's a lot to describe there. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can click on the link in the comments below. If you're watching it on Facebook, you can click on the learn more button. Better yet, just come see it in person. We're at 65 Windcrest Road, Rutland, Vermont, just off Route 7 South. Hope to see you soon.